Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West, and today we have to be working on a 69 Camaro frame. Now the COF 79 kit, which you see on our table, is an extended travel coilover system for 67 through 9 Camaro, Firebird, or 68 through 74 Nova. The extended travel, that terminology is based off the fact that we're raising the height of the shock and spring combination so we get more travel. We can lower the car down further if we choose to and still maintain shock travel and spring travel without a bottoming condition. The COF79 requires a frame modification. So we happen to have this 69 frame back here and we're going to be installing this and we decided to take a minute and show you exactly what we do to get this on that frame for that extended travel. One of the first things you want to do is measure 3 eighths of an inch over on the upper frame mount. That's from the engine side out. Draw a good line there because that's going to be your cut point. Now if you can see us using a yellow marker, it's a lot easier to see when we're cutting. The center section of this has to be removed because that's where we're going to put the extended travel mount. And you can see us cutting it there. Nice straight line going through. Popping it out. Now the next thing you want to do is remove the bump stop. That bump stop will be in the wrong location when we put the extended travel mount on. So get that clear. Now, you want to cut around the outside edge of that spring pocket area. And we've marked it there using a plasma. We're going to go ahead and cut that out. You can use anything you'd like, but we're using a plasma here. You can see how that worked. You may have to do a little bit of cleanup and what have you on there, but you want to install the extended travel mount up inside there and it should fit really nice. You may have to do a little buffing here or there. We give you a couple of setup bolts to install in the frame to hold it in position. And you'll notice no there. Now that no is because there's gusset that goes into the bracket that you're going to be welding. So weld completely around the extended travel mount, and there's the gusset. You want to put that in there and then weld that portion in. Now once this is all completed and you weld it completely around the extended travel mount, it'll be time now to go ahead and put the bump stop on. You're going to do this by installing a tubular arm. As you can see, it's putting our control arm on. It's a CTA 79A. You're going to put two eighth inch shims that's the setup on the upper control arm that'll help position the bump stop once you've got the eighth inch shims installed swing the control arm down and you're going to mark the center line of the bump stop to the frame you'll notice this doing there and the cross there so that's actually where the bump stop is going to hit the frame now in the kit we give you two bump stops that you'll be welding to the frame you can see it there you're going to use that, and on center line, you're going to position that on the frame. Tack it, and of course, after you tack it, you're going to double check to make sure that bump stop is hitting it properly. So just swing that arm down and make sure that everything's in alignment. If everything's good, go ahead and weld it to the frame. Now, once you get that welded, sometimes you may have to do a little bit of buffing to make sure the bump stop hits that properly. And if there's a little edge on it, what will happen is it will start tearing the bump stop up. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and buff that just slightly and so that when it, the arm swings down and the bump stop hits the tab, everything will be flat. And there you go. All right. As you can see, installing the COF79 kit is not that difficult. And if you had any questions, watching the video should clear it up or just give us a call. Anyway. Check us out on the web at globalwest.net. COF 79, 67 through 9 Camaro Firebird, and 68 through 74 Novas. Extended travel, something you may want to check out.